everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who unboxing video. Yesterday I will be unboxing Doctor Who The Collection Season 9. Um, so this is a landmark um, sort of box set in the collection range as it is the halfway mark in the classic series collection. This is release number 13 in the collection range. Can you believe it? We're already halfway through. Um, so this is very exciting because it's a third Doctor collection set and it's rather fitting um, but it is the third um, collection set with the third Doctor in it. This is his third season, season 9, so it's really cool and rather fitting. And I'm very excited to get this one because it has my favourite story of all time, The Sea Devils. Um, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to do an unboxing, show the presentation of the actual box set, talk about the new special features, and then do a collection lineup so far and how the collection range is shaping up halfway through. So without further ado, let's begin the unboxing. Okay, unboxing time. So yeah, this is quite nice not to get a collection set, not be delayed or cancelled um, or pushed back really. So it's really nice to actually get it when it's supposed to arrive, which is lovely because these sets are normally delayed for whatever reason. But of course they are worth the wait. There he is, Mr. Pertwee there, hiding in his uh, cardboard prison. So let's free him of that. And if we open it up, there we go, season nine. So let's free it from its final prison, which is of course the cellophane wrapper. Season nine is free from its cellophane prison. So we take a look at the cover art. So we've got this lovely purple vortex and it's got a little tinge of sort of a howl around there, I can see, which is rather nice. We've got John Pertwee there looking rather resplendent. We've got a Solon Mutt and Ogron, no complications. Kronos, a sea devil. Alpha Centauri and the Dalek Supreme from Dev the Daleks. It's interesting that there's no ice warriors on this, um, but I guess they'll be saved for season 11. But we've got a nice little Easter egg there of Agador in the little hypnosis device, which is very cool. So we've got the third Doctor in sort of main outfit for the season, which is of course sort of the outfit first debuted in Curse of Paladin and seen in the Time Monster. So I guess this is his sort of main outfit for the season, hence why Lee Binding probably went for that so yeah it's nice to see that outfit get a bit of love um, yeah so if we move to the side you can see how it looks on the shelf which is all very cool if we move to the back we've got a bit of artwork from the booklet inspired from Day of the Daleks so we've got build your own Doc 2 archive of the ultimate collector set so the stories are Day of the Daleks which I think is such a cool story you know it's Terminator before Terminator was a thing Curse of Paladin really nice little story real great rich world building and it's interesting to see the ice warriors in a different light really the sea devils pff, my favorite story <laughs> literally and i think the mutants is an understated underrated gem of a story i think there's a lot of um stuff you can t contextualize it with and i think that it's very thematically rich um story and quite underrated and then we have the time monster which is just a lot of fun. Then we've got a list of the new special features, which we'll, we'll cover in the new special features part. So if we remove the box set from its J card, uh, we can see the clean artwork there, which looks rather nice. You can see it in all its lovely glory. And if we move to the back, I've not seen what's on the back, so this is gonna be very cool, because it's always nice to see what Easter eggs are um, and what story's been used for the back. So on the back it is, oh, <laughs> okay. It's the Time Monster. Oh, that is really nice. You can see um, the TARDIS and the Master's TARDIS there before they go off and time ram each other, I guess. So yeah, I really love that. That is a beautiful sort of modern render of that sequence. I really love that. That is so cool. I love. I think that might be one of my favorite backgrounds for a collection set, actually. Oh, stunning. So shall we open it up and see what goodies are inside? So if we open it up, we are greeted with a load of discs flying at me, which is cool. So we've got the booklet tray inspired by the mutants, and it's rather nice, you can see a little shadow there, but we'll take a look at the booklet in a minute. Let's take a look at the disc. So disc one is Day of the Daleks, which I think is the four part version. Disc two, we've got an upside down Dalek. So yeah, this is the special edition version, omnibus version. So we've got the Supreme Dalek, which is very nice. I like the sort of background they've gone for, sort of the time tunnel, tunnel effect from Day of the Dalek. Then disc three is the Curse of Paladin. So we've got the third Doctor and Apturus, which is very nice, very nice to see that. It'd be interesting if we had like Alpha Centauri, maybe the Ice Warriors represented on that disc, but hey, I'm all for it really. And then we have disc four, the Sea Devils. Oh yes, so we've got a Sea Devil there, Sea Friend, lovely. And of course, Joe, very nice, very nice disc art. Then we've got disc five, the Sea Devils again, which I think is probably the omnibus version. 
And we've got the third Doctor there in an iconic pose from when he's detonating the minefields. Oh, very nice, very nice sort of action shot that is. I like that a lot. And then we have a disc six, which is a mutant, which is upside down. If we can spin it round. Da, 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 da. There we go. So we've got the Solon Mutt and Kai there, um, which is very nice. And then disc seven, it is the Time Monster. Oh, that's very sort of actiony, isn't it? With the Master and the Doctor going sort of back to back. That's very, very nice. Do you like that a lot? And then if we move to disc eight. Oh, OK. So we've got Kronos and the TARDIS. So, yeah, that's really really nice if we take that at the back we can of course see mr john pertwee there so yeah really nice so that is the disc art for season nine okay on to the booklet so if we open it up so we've got a nice sort of mutant inspired display which is very cool so if we open the booklet up um of course we can see this nice sort of day of the daleks inspired booklet tray which is very cool with the dalek plunger there sort of a dalek pov that's very cool sort of reminds me of the series three um, vanilla Blu-ray release they did um, with the Doctor and Martha so I like that sort of inspiration and using sort of the actual tunnel as it that's really nice sort of giving that nice sort of vortex effect a bit like the season 14 um, Blu-ray but we can take a closer look at that artwork there so here is the booklet but we'll take a closer look at the booklet in a minute but we've got more exciting products from Doctor Who to look at so yeah very nice to see the new diamond logo so inside we've got Third Doctor Audio Adventures, which I highly recommend. Great selection of audios there. Um, Doctor Who Comics there, which you can pick up. And we've got some season, well, Third Doctor inspired sort of BBC audios, um, which is very nice and very cool to look at. So we've got the Demon Quest vinyl, um, the Daily Doctor. And what else do we have? Um, the Doctor Escape Rooms, The World of Wonder, which I've done a vlog on, which is very nice. Doctor Who magazine and some fur Doctor merch you can pick up. So yeah, and then Doctor Who origin stories. Um, so if we take a look at the CG render of the TARDIS, so we've gone for the Time Monster inspired TARDIS with the washing up bowls. That's a very nicely rendered in 3D and I guess that's going to be the DVD menu for this set. So let's take a closer look at the booklet. So the booklet, like I say, got this nice Dev the Daleks inspired artwork very nice so if we open up we've got a lovely photo of john and katie on the trike and a little welcome about what season nine is which is very nice so if we take a look at the booklet further we're greeted with the dare the daleks disc one and two sort of disc breakdown so you know what's going on on each disc so we've got the development of the story and of course we've got some nice artwork inspired there a bit like the australian exclusive um dare the daleks artwork that is which is very nice so we've got the production of Day of the Daleks, and I guess the sort of, more about the production actually, so it's quite a heavy production set, the after image and the reception. And we have Curse of Paladin, again, the disc breakdown on what on each version, and then development production, and this nice bit of artwork for Curse of Paladin there, which is very nice, very nice indeed, actually. I like that a lot. Reception and after image, the Sea Devils, again, a disc breakdown for that. Of course, we'll take a look at the new special features in a minute. Disc 5 is the Omnibus version, development, production, um, yeah, very nice. And then we've got some more info there for Sea Devils there himself, Rising from the Sea, and of course, lovely Sea Devil artwork, always love that reception and after image. Quite a lot on the Sea Devils, and rightfully so, because it's a tremendous story. Then we've got the Mutants production, bit of info on the Mutants there, and of course, lovely image on the Mutant itself. Um, yeah, very nice. Again, reception after image, and then the time monster, and a bit about disc gate. Again, disc breakdown, and again, some artwork for the time monster production, and of course, reception and after image, and a final image there of the third doctor about to Venusian Aikido, a sea devil, and then we're back there. We've got some BBC sort of promotional photos there. Um, yeah, very nice artwork, and you see the Dalek there in the background, which is really cool so i guess if we open that up i guess you can see how the artwork unfolds so yeah really nice so let's take a look at the new special features for this set on to the special features that feature on season nine so we have the existing dvd extras and a load of pdf material but in terms of new content that features on this season we have a behind the sofa featuring Michael E. Bryant, Katie Manning, Sophie Aldred, Wendy Padbury, Peter Davison, Janet Fielding and Sarah Sutton. Now all of these contributors feature on all of the stories 
Um, so it's nice to have a complete season of buying the sofa again. I know that season two is a sort of an exception because of you know circumstances going on there, but it's nice to see the sort of behind the sofa back in full swing. And yeah, it's going to be nice having you know Janet Fielding and Peter Davison and Sarah Sutton watching some third Doctor goodness. So other special features, we have Sunday Best, a Radio 4 interview with Terry Nation, broadcast on the 6th of February 1972. Free Thinking, a Radio 3 discussion about the Daleks, broadcast on the 14th of July 2022. Trails and Continuity, revised and updated production subtitles, and Photo Gallery in HD. Disc 2, which is the special edition of Dare of the Daleks. So we have uh, the existing special features again on all of these what feature on the DVDs. But in terms of new content, we have the Dare of the Dalek 60 minute omnibus edition and MonsterCon 2 convention footage featuring Richard Franklin and Nicholas Courtney. Disc 3, The Curse of Paladin. So again, all the DVD extras feature on this. We have the new special features behind the sofa. The Curse of Paladin, a bridge target audiobook reading by John Pertwee. Very excited to give that a listen. We have the 16mm film sequences from episode 3. So that'd be nice to see. Uh, the Curse of Paladin Episode 1 to 4 Reverse Standard Conversions, Trails and Continuity, Revised and Updated Production Subtitles, and Photo Gallery in HD. Disc 4, so the Sea Devil, so this is the 6 episodes uh, version, so we have the Behind the Sofa, Optional 5.1 Surround Mix, Optional Dolby Atmos Sound Mix, which I think is the first Doctor Who story to get that treatment, which is rightfully so, because Sea Devils is a king story. We have Self Today excerpt from the 19th of November 2013. Today, a radio film excerpt on writing Doctor Who stor stories broadcast on the 28th of March. Defense of the Earth, the collection uh, trailer for this season. John Pertwee interview from BBC Radio. Trails and Continuity, revised and updated production subtitles and photo gallery in HD. Disc 5, which is the 90 minute omnibus edition of The Sea Devils. So we have the optional um, sound mix again for both of these. So we have Location Location, which I think is going to be a lot of fun because I enjoyed it on Season 22, so it would be interesting to see Katie Manning revisiting some of the locations from Season 9. Um, so we have Michael E. Bryant at the helm, so that's a nice little documentary about Michael E. Bryant, one of the key directors in classic Doctor Who. And then we have The Fell Guy featuring uh, a feature on Stuart Fell, the stuntman, um, often seen in the Pertwee era, so that'll be very interesting. So it seems like Disc 5 is where the main bulk of the special features are, which is very nice. Disc 6, in terms of new content, which is The Mutant, we have Behind the Sofa, Trolls and Continuity, Revised Updated Production, Subtitles, and Photo Gallery in HD. So not much new special features on The Mutants. Disc 7 for The Time Monster. So we have Behind the Sofa, Nationwide excerpt on the special effects. Trails and Continuity, Revised and Updated Production, Subtitles, and Photo Gallery in HD. So that's disc 7 for the Time Monster, and the final disc, disc 8, which is additional special features for the Time Monster. So we have Time and Atlantis, the making of a documentary on the waterfront excerpt with John Pertwee, broadcast on the 6th of May 1989. Panopticon archive interviews with Ingrid Pitt and Terence Dix from Panopticon 92. Richard Franklin at the 50th anniversary celebration on Time Clocks compilation. So yeah, quite interesting, but we've got some new special features, a lot more than season 2. Um, so it seems like there's some healthy new content to dive into with this season. Collection lineup time. So this is how all 13 sets look together. So this is 50% of the classic collection lineup. Um, so yeah, this is the halfway mark adding season 9 to it. It's really nice to have sort of a nice trinity of Pertwee seasons, having 8, 9 and 10 together. Um, so if you, you can pretty much marathon nearly all the third Doctor era now, which is very nice because, you know, favourite era. And, you know, the most consistent era in the show's history. Not a bad story in the Third Doctor era for me. Uh, it's just perfection. So, yeah, you can see how it's all looking. I think this is the last time we're going to be able to use this space. Uh, because it's literally, I've just crammed season 26 there. Um, so you can see how it all looks. But, yeah, I think there is one glaring uh, thing that is missing in this collection lineup, And that is Mr. Patrick Troughton. Where are you, Mr. Patrick Troughton? It would be really nice to have all the... The Doctor's in the collection form at some point, but yeah, it'd be really nice to have a Patrick Salton set next because I think that is one thing we are missing now. So yeah, that is the collection lineup so far. So there we have it. That is my unboxing of Doctor Who, the collection season nine. I cannot wait to dive into all eight discs of Pertwee Blu-ray goodness with the new special features. 
Um, I can't wait to experience location location because it just from the bits we've seen from the trailer, uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun um, seeing Katie Manning revisit some of those locations. And you know, a documentary about Michael E. Bryant um, is always good fun. And you know, Stuart Fell, one of the unsung heroes, I guess, of the Pert Year. So it'd be very interesting to give those a watch. And of course, watch the stories again. Um, and you know, the joy of these collection sets is to reappraise. Um, you know, classic Doc 2, but not that this needs reappraising because it's the third Doctor and, you know, it's perfection. Um, but I think that this is quite an underrated third Doctor season. I think that it's an overlooked season because for many people this has kind of got the two main clangers of the Pertwee era. Um, that wasn't a reference to the Sea Devils, but it works quite well. Um, you know, the time monster and the mutants, but I think that they're there's something very different and I think that, you know, the, the mutants is thematically rich and the time monster it's just a lot of fun, and I think if you go in with that mindset, then you'll have a lot of fun um, with those stories. But yeah, great selection of stories. Can't wait to see how they've been restored, because I think that's always a joy, seeing how they've improved from the DVD release to now, because I think the Pertwee stuff, you know, is kind of in sort of a dodgy quality. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how they've restored it, because Season 8 they did absolute wonders with. So it'd be interesting to see how they restore Season 9 as well. So I'm off to dive into some lovely 70s Blu-ray goodness. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do like and subscribe because it really does help the channel out. And I'll see you next time for some Season 9 style reviews in celebration of this Blu-ray release. So the next video I'll probably do is a review on the history of the Daleks at 7, Day of the Daleks. So thank you very much everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.